now. All right. Okay, guys. Um, thank you for joining us uh, for a, another Q and A as a part of our Blues from Home program. We are uh, we're very lucky to be joined today by Kira Rowe. Um, Kira had uh, had signed with our our NBL One Women's side. Um, we were really really excited about. Uh, her joining the club and, and what she was going to bring to the club. Um, head coach Belinda Snell was, had huge wraps on her and the impact she had with Southside Flyers um, in the WNBL season. And then obviously the season didn't go ahead. Um, but Kira's been phenomenal in, uh, and, and very generous in giving up her time still to, to join me and to, to talk uh, today about what she's been up to in lockdown and, and the upcoming WNBL season. So Kira, thank you very much for jumping on today and joining us. No worries. Thanks for having me. It's very exciting. Yeah. This is the new norm, unfortunately. We're catching up via Zoom, but uh, yeah. the silver linings, you know, the, um, the, the positive sort of mindset is that, you know, if we had to set up these chats in person, we'd have to try and sneak it in before training or after training and, you know, uh, yeah. get someone to film it in the boardroom. So it is nice and easy to just film it on Zoom and um, be able to, you know, still connect with you and put something out to our members about what you've been up to in lockdown and things like that. So, no, we really appreciate it. Yeah, awesome. Thanks. So, first question. Um, what, I guess, the popular question is, is what have you been doing in lockdown? I know, um, you know, we didn't get to see you play this year, our Junior Blues you know, members and families and things like that. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see you sort of don a, a Blues uniform, but I think it will still be really um, great to hear yourself as a professional athlete and what you're doing to prepare um, for, for the upcoming WNBL season. But, but, you know, we had the first lockdown and then we had the second lockdown. Take us through that journey a little bit for you. Yeah, well, what have I been up to? I've been doing a lot of different things, to be honest. Like... Um, even though we've been in lockdown, I've still been quite busy doing a whole heap of different things. Um, so probably the first lockdown, um, so, uh, my dad had a landscaping business. So, uh, when we couldn't train or anything, I was helping him out doing some landscaping, some of the tools. So that was a bit of fun. Um, got to be outside still was really lucky while other people were stuck inside. I was able to still go to work outside in people's backyards and yeah do some landscaping so that was a lot of fun um and then obviously I was still trying to keep up my training around that um I was really lucky I set up a gym in my backyard I mean it's not huge but it does the job we've got a squat rack and a bench press thing and some dumbbells and some free weights and you can be pretty creative with um minimal equipment and not much space so that's been really good that I've been able to um have that at home that's been awesome um and then I guess yeah just in the backyard I've got like a bit of a space um that yeah I can do some training it's not huge um in the first lockdown when we were still able to go like up to the school um and I was playing a lot of one-on-one -on -one with my little brother so that was fun some sibling rivalry a lot of sibling <laughs> rivalry got very competitive um but I mean, that was good for us to bond a little bit as well and do that. So that was great. And yeah, he's been awesome helping with me, me with my training. Um, yeah, so I'm also doing uni all online at the moment. So um, that's been, it was full on at the start, but I'm a bit more used to it now. I guess it'd be the same as um, all the kids out there doing homeschooling. It was very overwhelming at the start and difficult and different. But now I'm getting the hang of it and it's not too bad. Um, and like you said, it's actually quite convenient. All the classes being on Zoom rather than having to drive to uni. So I guess that's one of the positive things um, is that, yeah, everything's at home, but it does make learning a little bit harder. Um, but yeah, so I've been doing that. So I'm studying physio online and I also started um, in lockdown, I started doing a Pilates teacher training certification online also so just been working through that also so soon hopefully I'll be a qualified Pilates instructor so yeah that's about it been doing a whole heap of different things really <laughs> yeah you certainly have been you, you you haven't been sitting on your hands by any stretch of the imagination <laughs> uh, that's pretty yeah. impressive the Pilates thing I didn't know about that's um <laughs> 
I might be uh, I might be coming to you for some for some tips. I'm I'm, I'm taking on a body and mind class tomorrow morning. It's one of our new yeah. sessions we're running, and Michelle mm-hmm. uh, Gubbles ran it for us last week. Yeah, uh, for awesome. WBL player, and she was terrific. Yeah. Um, I, I, I did the session and watched her and then I'm taking the next three and I reckon I've bit off more than I can chew. So I'm going to give it a crack. Um, I've, yeah. got a, I've got a background in fitness, but, but it's totally different and um, I'll, I'll do my best. But um, yeah, that, that's, yeah, I mean, that's impressive. And um, yeah, your attitude to the whole lockdown sounds like you're, uh, yeah, which we already knew about you is that you're, um, you're a really positive person and, um, you know, take things in your stride. So well done and, and congratulations on that. Um, Congratulations also on signing uh, with with Sydney Uni Flames for the upcoming WBL season. So signed uh, with with them uh, in the off season. Coach uh, Katrina Hibbert. Um, there's a couple of other Victorian girls. Tell us a little bit about that, um, and then a little bit about what you've been doing recently. Um, I guess in lockdown, in terms of being able to, how have you been able to prepare for the upcoming season? Yeah, so I have signed with Sydney, which is very exciting. Um, not sure when I'll be able to actually move up to Sydney yet, but just, um, yeah, staying as ready as I can, ready to go whenever it may be. It might be in a week, might be in a few months, we don't know. Um, just trying to stay ready, but I am super excited to head up there and start training. Um, yeah, I've got some Melbourne girls that'll be coming up as well, which is also exciting. Um, and yeah, really excited to hit the court with um, the new coaching staff as well. So Katrina Hibbert's the head coach there. Um, she coached me in my under 20s state team, um, top age, a few years ago. And that was an awesome experience. I love playing under her. So I am, um, yeah, really um, keen to get up there and start working um, with that team and in a new environment which is, yeah, it's exciting. Like I was excited to come down to Frankston, to something new and yeah, see where that takes me. So yeah, we'll head up there hopefully sometime soon. Um, and yeah, play for Sydney. Um, yeah, more recently in lockdown, we have actually been lucky enough to get access to a court um, the last week or so, um, just like 60 minutes non-contact um training so that's been good to do that a bit more um yeah just being able to get some shots up and everything has been really helpful um but yeah also now that well there are talks about the season going ahead a bit more started ramping up my training a little bit more doing some more running sessions because in the first phase of like the first lockdown i was really motivated to do lots of running and stay really fit the second lockdown not gonna lie it was tough um, and while I stay really positive, I'm not going to lie, it, it's, it's been tough for everyone, including me, like <laughs> it's hard. Um, so yeah, that was a bit more focus on, yeah, mental health side of things. So I was doing a lot of mental training, um, incorporating things like yoga and meditation into my training a lot more. I did some work with, um, the, uh, David Stiff, um, was helping me out with some, yeah, mental training sort of things. Um, yes. So yeah, that was really good. But now, yeah, starting to get back into some more fitness side of things because I think I realised how unfit I've got. So need to <laughs> get back into doing that. But yeah, that's probably what I'm up to more recently. Yeah. Oh, that's terrific. And um, yeah, you touched on it there. That 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 mental health side of things and 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 the mental training and that's terrific. And we're putting a little bit more of a focus on that now with with our juniors and with our families as well. So it's great to hear from from someone like yourself in that, um, you know, you're a professional athlete and how important you found that training to your preparation as well. So that's terrific. And um, yeah, look, I'm glad that, you know, Basketball Australia was able to sort of advocate for you guys and, and get you an exemption from the government to prepare for your season, your professionals. There's no reason you should be able to access a, a state, a, a court, um, and, and get in and, and train with with those um, any of those girls that are currently in Victoria playing interstate. Because um, yeah, you need to be preparing and staying ready. And we we certainly hope the season does get up and running. Um, you know, whatever format it may be, um, and in whatever format it is, we will obviously be be watching um, and cheering you on um, very very closely. As much as we're you know we're still. Uh, pretty close to Southside and, and we want to see them do well. We certainly want to see yourself and Lara and um, Talia and Steph do well as well with, with teams interstate. So we'll, we'll be watching you all very closely and um, we're extremely uh, 
proud of you guys and, and the way that you've tackled uh, lockdown um, is, is extremely, extremely impressive. So I'll finish today. I don't want to take up too much of your time um, with a question. You are, again, being extremely generous and, and jumping on and, and running a session for our, our girls on, um, on Monday evening, our train, yep. train with me sort of girls only session. So yep. that'll be a great opportunity for our junior blues girls to jump on, um, get to interact with you a little bit because they probably missed out on that um, during the season, unfortunately, and, uh, and, and see how you train and what you've been doing uh, from home when you, when you can't get to a stadium. Um, but I guess just to finish, if you could give any advice, I guess put yourself in the shoes of, say, a junior. You go, you know, wind the clock back. You don't have to wind it too far and, you know, <laughs> like me, but wind the clock back to when you were sort of 12s, 14s and things like that. And imagine yourself in lockdown. And, and what would you, you know, what advice would you give our kids, you know, our, our, our junior blues that are trying to find some motivation and, and figure out their what they're going to do to stay active and healthy in, in lockdown right now? Yeah, well, I guess um, the most important thing is just, yeah, trying to stay active and doing something, getting outside if you can. But I mean, it doesn't have to be basketball that you're doing. It's great to keep up your skills doing ball handling and some shooting if you have access to a ring. But if not, like just do anything, anything that you find fun. If you like to go and kick the footy, like that's great. Go do that. That's being active, getting outdoors. Um, or like my little sister's actually in under 12s. So I've been helping her out a bit, which is a lot of fun. But um, both myself and her, yeah, as I mentioned before, are really getting into our yoga, which is really wow. cool because, I mean, it's not um, super strenuous, but it certainly is keeping me active and it's fun. Um, yeah, some of the different yoga poses are certainly like... Yeah, they're difficult, but it's cool to be able to go, oh, I tried that last week and I could not do it because I fell over because my balance was horrible. And this week I can get it and I can hold the position. So yeah, stuff like that as well is really cool to incorporate. And that, that also ties into the sort of meditation, mental training side of things as well. So yeah, yoga is something that I've definitely um, really started to enjoy lately. Um, so if you can, I would do that. And I mean, you can find things on YouTube that, are pretty um, easy to access and it doesn't have to be long like five to ten minutes of something can be great um, or if it's getting outside and going for a walk especially now that the weather's getting a lot nicer I'm in my backyard this morning and it's lovely and warm so yeah just get outside whenever you can um, and yeah just find something that you like doing like if you're forcing yourself to do something like this isn't really fun or whatever like don't do it find something else that you can do that's going to keep you active um, and moving and yeah that's probably my best advice that I can give just yeah try your best and stay active in any way you can yeah no it's terrific Kiri you've hit the nail on the head there in terms of yeah do what's fun right now we need to we need to focus on that do what makes you happy yeah. do what, we, what you find fun it's um, that's probably the most important thing right now um, you know basketball's not going anywhere it will be back and if and, and we hope that our, our juniors will come back in, in droves mm -hmm. we hope they all come yeah. back but right now um, the focus is on yeah looking after oneself and um, and the best way to do that is to do what you enjoy do what makes you yeah. happy and um, yeah and, and that's terrific advice and um, yeah, we're really, really, just really grateful for your time today. Um, thank you for, for jumping on with me. And um, and we look forward to, to seeing you on Monday night, taking a session for our kids. So, um, you know, enjoy the day, uh, whatever you've got planned and, and enjoy the weekend. And we'll see you, you Monday. And then um, from there, we, we look forward to hopefully seeing you get up to Sydney and, and, and get cracking on the, uh, on the WNBL season. So thanks again, Kira. Um, and we'll, we'll stay in touch and, and thank you for your time. Yeah, awesome. Thanks very much. And I hope to see you guys on Monday. If you can get there, it'd be great. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Kira. Thank you.